Hey, everybody, and welcome. I've got the legendary West Indies Cricketeer right here, Darren Sammy. I am Chris Rose. Kelsey Winger, Axton Elrod, a part of our amazing broadcast team here at John Boy Media. And this is pretty much the two teams we expected, although they took really interesting routes to get here. When you're talking about pinstripe strong and hook line sinkers, they are the top two teams in terms of runs per ball. They are the top two teams in terms of pitching economy. When you talk about pinstripe strong and you and the adversity they have faced in the semifinal win, they actually lost Shelfie mid-game. He ended up tearing his Achilles. He has made a triumphant return to the warehouse. He will be here to cheer his mates on. So much intrigue. We cannot wait to bring you the championship game. It has been an outstanding tournament. Because. You ready? You ready to crown a champion? I am ready. Let's do it. Let's send you down to the cement. It is time right now for our final ceremonial coin toss. Paxton. Thanks, Rose. I need both team captains to be walking up. <gasps> oh, 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 look at this. You are going to be flipping. You are going to be calling. This, tails, heads. Gotcha. OK. Oh, why did we go so far? That is, in fact, tails. They're going to bat first. Okay. They're going to bat first. Wow. Interesting. Runs on the board in the final. In our pregame press conference, we witnessed hook, line, sinker change their game plan in the middle of the press conference. So before, they wanted to pitch first, and they decided in the playoffs the strategy is to put the pressure on the team and make them have to catch up to your runs in the second inning. Very interesting. So it'll actually be Jaskaran Malhotra that'll be the striker first. His batting partner will be Jolly Olive, who's been outstanding throughout this tournament. In the meantime, Justin Dill, the professional cricket player, 28 years old out of Cape Province, South Africa, will be the first bowler for Pinstripe Strong. And let's remember, hook line sinkers will be on the DraftKings power play, which means no wicket keeper in the circle for the first of three overs. All right, just about set for the championship match. Ball in play league presented to you by DraftKings. Justin Dill playing for the Washington Freedom later this year in Major League Cricket delivers. And a bow. Oh, did that ball hit the strike zone or no? I think Was it a bad it ball? And already some controversy out of the gate. What happened there? It's one run. It's supposed to be one run. So one run on the board for Jolly Olive. Pops one up and Nikki Cass! Oh! The all-time defender with the first wicket! The wicked, 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 wicked. Jolly sit down. It's, I, I'm not like making fun of him, I'm just saying it. Wow, the underdogs, they started off really well here in the finals. But now it gets Drew Davis as the striker, so dangerous. That ball hammered off the ceiling and it goes behind the strike zone. They're gonna get, oh, look at Drew Davis. You can see that he can <laughs> taste the championship as he slides across. Two runs. Takes the total up to three. But they've lost uh, one wicket. Jolly Olive now on the bench till the next inning. Drew Davis pops one up. That's in play. Are they going to go a second? Oh, no! <laughs> a second wicket. The dangerous. Second wicket. Wicked, Just Karan is out. Run out. Oh. What a start for and the underdogs. 
take a look at the frustration as we bring up the replay on that one. Josh Curran wanted to continue running. There was a miscommunication with Drew Davis and look at him just flip the bat after he knew he had been run out. Look at this. Oh, oh just so frustrating afterward. So that is two wickets in just four good pitches so far. The total is five. What a great start to this. Remember, they won the toss, elected to bat first. So now BBD. He hits one. Oh! Barely got a run. BBD had to slide in safely for it. And that's important because it gets Drew back, Drew Davis back to striking zone. Last ball in this over for Justin Dill. One wicket to get. That ball hammered. It's in play, but stopped nicely. What Mickey an Cass over. doing his thing with Lou Dab. Just six runs coming out of this first over in the final. Brookline sinkers are under pressure. When we run, we're screaming, run, 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 run. Because when you're, you're a fast guy, when you break, you're already halfway there. He might not know that you're even going. Okay? Ground balls, right now, it might not be worth it to run, especially if they're fielded cleanly. Because we already lost two wickets, so let's just bat through the balls, yeah? Keep her back there. So you're not running on tips, you're not running on bad balls, okay? So swing at good pitches, okay? Let's go. All right, what do you think of that advice? Yeah, because they only have one wicket left. They still have 12 good balls that they have to face. So they have to maximize that. And because Justin Dill was the golden bowler, meaning no bad balls in that first over, he can elect to stay on, which he will. So the power play, the DraftKings power play is history. Lou Dab is now the wicket keeper. Drew Davis, the striker. That ball hammered. It's a four run boundary, the first boundary ball of this championship match. Can Drew play a match saving in in here? Balls hammered in another four banger. Drew Davis trying to be the hero here. That ball hit, that's in play. Just gonna be one run. And it puts BBD back on strike. I know Drew wanted that at bat to last a little longer. He did. But can BBD continue? That ball hit behind, oh, they stay right there. Almost drew BBD across the crease. Lou Dab all over it. So it just goes as a dot ball. That ball popped behind, it's in play. Another run, but Pinstripe Strong will take that all day, Darren Sammy. They will. Just 16 runs on the board so far. One ball left in the second over. That ball tip. Oh, and that'll do it for that over. 10 runs coming out of this second over. You could see the frustration though on the face of this team. BBD and Jolly Olive getting together for a little powwow. Just if it's at your eyes, don't be afraid to take it, all right? I want to see all the pitches. I want you to see a good one, you know? Not swing at a bad one and get out. And look who has taken the mound. No way! So we're gonna see Joe's. Joe's McFly on to bowl. The hero of the Catch. last game. Oh. Nikki Cass! Oh, no, 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 no! No, no, wait a second. No, that hit the wall! Didn't it's, that hit the wall? It hit the wall, but it ricochets. Oh, my goodness, a remarkable play. Wicked man, a wicked man. Nikki Cass does a wicked. And he's gonna do it in that one. He's gonna go, I got a fucking wicked. Pax. <laughs> Nikki, you came in on this team, ended up in the championship. You defensively absolutely showed out. How are you feeling? Feel great. Jim said I need two catches out of you, so I gave him three. Love that energy. The fun does not stop in the warehouse, guys. DraftKings Sportsbook is the sponsor for this game, and you can get in on the action as well with code WAREHOUSE. If you're unsure how to spell it, 
it's in the channel name, so there's no confusion there. Right now, new customers can head over to DraftKings, use that promo code, bet $5 on any pregame wager, and win $150 in bonus bets instantly. And hey, if you watch this ad all the way through, leave me a comment and tell me who's going to make the first out of this game. Bottom of the first, and Pinstripe Strong only looking at a 16-run deficit. What an outstanding job by Joe's McFly, Justin Dill, that entire crew, the defense of Nikki Cass. Now we'll see how they strike with the ever-dangerous Lou Dab up at the plate. And Jaskaran Malhotra will be the first bowler for hook line sinkers. Once again, DraftKings power play in effect for Pinstripe Strong, no wicket keeper. But uh, they're more worried about the fours and sixes that Lou Dab can put up there. That's exactly right. And he's been so good all tournament. Can Captain Jaskaran bowl some magic balls here to dismiss them? Lou Dab has faced 45 good balls, 17 fours, 10 sixes, off the chart sort of stuff. So we'll see if the man nicknamed Jay can tame the tiger. That ball hammered, and it's a four spot right out the gate for number four. They could actually bat them out of the game in the first inning. What does that mean? Oh, if they put a score of 60 on the board. That ball hit. Did it hit the strike zone afterward? That's a dot ball. Yeah, that's a dot ball. Okay, that's but a if, big pitch for Jay. If they, if they lead by, by 30 or runs, come on. They, need, they have to... To get up. That ball popped in the air. Oh, nearly caught by Jolly Al. Uh oh, Drew Davis throws it away. But uh, only one run on that. That was nearly a remarkable play. Jolly nearly. gets down and dirty. Nearly. That ball hit behind. No wicket keeper. Just one run by Justin mm. Dill. So far, so good from Jess Curran. Yeah, he's done a remarkable job, allowing only six runs in four good pitches. But Lou Dab, oh so dangerous, back. That ball hammered off the ceiling. How many runs will score? There's one. That's all they're gonna have. Wow. You're not taking any chances. No chances on the bases. So down to one more good pitch for Josh Curran. Justin yes, Dill hits it off the ceiling. Drew Davis all over it. It's no rocks. That's a dot ball. What a way to conclude the first over for Jaskaran Mahotra. Wonderful job. Short, short. Take BP. Take BP. Relax approach. Take BP. Oh, it's going to be Jaskaran again to continue. He, of course, is the golden bowler after delivering zero bad balls in that over. But here comes Lou Dab. He pops one up, and it's a four ball, sealing the back wall. But the thing is, they're not running away. They're not going too far ahead. That ball's hammered, and it's another four. He's 20th four. Lou Dab's 20th four ball of the tournament. That ball oh. hammered off of Josh Caron. It's only going to be the tying run, but a great job by Jay to utilize his body. I don't know if it was instinctual or just lucky. He will take it either way. Yeah. Let's see that shot again. Woo-wee. It was coming in hot. So now Justin Dill, nicknamed Dilly or Dilla, back at strike. That ball hammered, and it's another four ball. And for the first time, Pinstripe Strong has the lead as they're up 20 to 16. Two good balls left in this over. That ball hit behind and Nice job, another dot ball. Jay has done a phenomenal job Amazing limiting the job. damage, really. And here comes Lou Dab in for a little chit chat with his 
batting partner. Kelsey, I see you working, kid. Oh, yeah, look at this. Yep, okay, good. Excellent. We're still working on our timing as reporters. That's perfectly fine. It's fine. Oh, that ball hit in the sky. Oh, Jazz almost caught it. As it is, that is a dot ball, and that will conclude the second over. Outstanding work by hook line sinkers. Four dots so far recorded by hook line sinkers in those two overs. Of course, one of the emotional stories is the fact that uh, Shelfie, who helped this team get to the final, he is banged up. He tore his Achilles in the semifinal match. He is, well, not standing by, but sitting by with Kelsey. <laughs> it's a tough throwdown to you, Shelfie. Yeah. Hey, what has it been like for you being able to watch these guys, especially, I know you didn't get to see the last game, but they did it for you, and just to see the emotion to rally around you right now. Yeah, I'm just excited to be here, first and foremost. I wasn't sure if I was going to get back, but we're here for the championship. Uh, got off to a slow start here. This is probably the slowest start we've gotten off to, but we still have the lead, which is good. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm here for the energy. But good to see your defensive replacement and Nikki Cass really step up in that first inning for you guys. Couldn't think of a better person to have replace me out here. My guy, Nikki. That best replacement in the business, right? Now. I'm doing it for you. We love it down here. Shelfie, we're glad to have you back. Guys. Hey, Kels, real quick. Yes, is that a soft cast? Can we all, is that a hard cast? Can we sign it? What is that? It's soft. Oh. Yeah, then the Sharpies. We probably could it. sign it. Oh, we should. It, it could fabric. be like middle school. when uh, You know, remember when the, that was yeah. the coolest thing about breaking a bone and you had a I cast. wanted to break my arm. As you well. wanted to break yeah, your arm? Yeah, because I was so jealous. Everybody gets yeah. so much attention. Yeah, you're, a, you're a warped individual yeah. if you wanted to break your arm <laughs> just so a kid could sign your cast. <laughs> All right, weirdo, let's get back to the third over. Here we go. BBD on to throw it. Now, this is very important, Rose. Yep. If he could restrict them to 10, 15 runs and less. Oh, yeah, that's a win. Yeah, that's, that's a win right there. All right, Lou Dab, let's see what you got. Oh, he looks fired up. He, he seems pissed off. That ball's hammered, and that is a six-run boundary. First one of the day, I believe, for everybody. Six run, right? Six runs, first one of the match. His 11th in this tournament. That leads everyone. That ball reached out. Oh, Ooh. it's in play. Only one run, Drew Davis. You can see him salivating like Pavlov's dog. He's like, I, 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 I want to get that. He said he was a dog. He was. Yeah, he wants to see the ball. He wants to get oh. it. All right, so Justin Dill back up as the striker. That ball hit off the ceiling and caught oh. by Jolly Olive. Jolly Olive. He's done his job, Jolly Olive. Man. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. He's keeping within arm's length. So now Joe's McFly striking for the first time here in the final. We don't want to give six, keep him off strike, a loop. Yeah. Even if there's one single, we can let them run extra. We want to keep Luke off strike as possible. All right, so BBD, three more good pitches left in this over and this inning. Trying to minimize the damage. Oh, Whoa. there's a dot ball. Wow. That is huge. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's go. So far, the lead is only 11. That ball God. popped in the air. Oh, my oh, gosh, no. it falls. That's a pick. That's a pick. That's nothing. That's nothing. All right, so there's one more pitch left. Do you think that was intentional, by the way, the drop? Maybe. They want to keep him on strike. That's interesting. All right, one more good ball left in this over. That ball hit up the middle. And everybody needs Look to like run. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that is comedy. Oh, no. <laughs> we got yeah, it. took him out. <laughs> All right, I got to stop laughing. Charlie Holland. <laughs> 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 Try to <get> this. <laughs> we got to look ah! at this again. <laughs> Trying to nail the strike zone instead. He nearly took out his it face. It was BBD that had a target on his face. Oh my God. Let's see it again. Oh, 
<laughs> if they had just held on to it, it would have been one run, right? But <laughs> Jolly, were you aiming for? <laughs> if I was, that's a really good throw. I mean, we should talk about that. No, I was aiming for this one. I just I had a brain fart, complete brain fart. Brain fart, teammate. He's okay. Okay, so everyone's okay. I told him he can punch me if he wants to after the game. After we win. Really big question. Why are none of uh, your teammates wearing bucket hats? I forgot mine at home. Guilty. Mm -hmm. And I think Drew's is too small for his head. Drew. What's Drew? Drew, do you have too big of a head? No, I'm wearing it this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, he's wearing it. Yeah, Drew seems like a rule follower. He's going to wear his bucket hat. By the he way, let's look at. Fit. Can we get a look at BBD? Is there a uh, mark on his face or how is he? Are you okay? Yeah. He's fine. Did he He's take locked it right in. To the face? Did you take it right to the face? No. No. Yeah. Oh. No. Man. BBD. Ouch. While these guys warm up, allow us to tell you about under 5'10". Not only is that our height, under 5'10", but it's the clothes we're wearing. It's why Jimmy looks so good right and now. Blitz ball, the shorts we wore, you think they were uniforms? No. Under 5'10", joggers, we just look so good. Right now, under 5'10". Comfy. You can, you can look nice. just like us, Jake. Tell them that. And with coupon code JOMBOY, you $10. can save $10. Order at under510.com and, and get free shipping on orders of 150 plus. What? Thanks, Under 5. I fainted from the discount. Here we go to the top of the second in a very interesting championship game. Boy, we thought when Hookline put up just 16 runs that they would be down, what, 30, 40, 50 runs That's what heading I thought. into this last round. It's only 13, Darren. Yeah, because they bought really, really well. The credit to them, they did not allow too many boundaries to be hit, and now they have. They are still in with a chance. If they could put anything plus 55, 60 on the board, they, they will fancy the chances. And that's exactly what Jazz Coran just told me, that they're shooting for 60 points. They want to sit with around that 50-point lead at the end of this inning. Certainly makes sense. Jazz Coran Malhotra will be the striker against Justin Dill for Pinstripe Strong as the bowler. Once again, DraftKings power play is in effect. No wicket keeper behind the strike zone. So here we go. Let's have a little fun here in inning number two, championship day in the warehouse. Jay hits it off the wall and it falls. There's one run, it puts Jolly on strike. You have to, people are wondering, well, why do you swing at that? You just don't know if it's gonna hit the strike zone and be a dot ball, Yeah, right? It was clearly high, it was gonna definitely be a wide. Well, you thought so, huh? Yes, okay. I did. There's a wide, and they're running because there's no wicket keeper, so that's one for the wide and one for running. And it's not a good ball. And it takes Justin Dill out of perhaps being the golden bowler. That's exactly right. That ball's hammered. There's a six run. Their first of the day. Man, we've seen it time and time again. When you think they're done out, this hook line team, Oh, there's a dot ball. Well placed by Justin Gill. That ball hit off the ceiling twice, three times. Falls, Dickie Cass has just caught Jay. Nice job by Nicky Cass. He's more than a social media phenomenon. Man, he's taking what, three, four catches? My goodness. Unlucky for Jessica Rendo. Yep. So Drew Davis now coming up, and he is a dangerous stick as well. Four good pitches by Justin Dill. Oh! oh almost in what? The magic hole. Woo My goodness. Justin Dill has done his deal. One more good pitch left in this over. That ball hit right at Justin. He does a great job knocking it down. A dot ball to finish it up. Nine oh. runs. Only nine from this over. They're still not leading. That is tough. So the DraftKings power play is over. Justin moves from the bowler to the wicket keeper. Lou Dab will be the new bowler. The 
underdog story is always a good one. All right, Jolly Olive. Oh, a tip of the cap to Lou Dab. They're both Mets fans, by the way, even though Lou is pinstripe strong today. That ball, there's a oh! six by Jolly Olive. <laughs> Right in the direction of Emily from Major League Cricket. You all right over there? Huh? It, it went back down. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They need plenty more of those by Jolly Olive. Uh oh, that ball popped up. That blue blue down. Down. Oh, he's gone! Yeah. Wicked dance, wicked dance. Blue dab, he's got some hands. Hey! Jolly Olive eliminated, put on the bench. Pinstripe strong could taste the victory, Rose. They're doing it for Shelfie. Great sportsmanship from uh, Jazz Coran down here as he danced with you to the wicket dance against his own team. He did? Yep. Wow, okay, that's some school spirit. That's a bad ball, stay right there. Because it's wide, it's one. And it also means that Lou cannot be the golden bowler. So that means that if they get to a third over, Joe's is going to have to pitch. That ball hit off the ceiling. It falls. There's one run. Man, oh man, though. Drew Davis has got to start connecting on fours and sixes. It's just, it's that he has simple. To. It's that simple. Six. Or else your team is in trouble. That ball popped in the air, it falls. There's one run. There's nothing I love more than when Lou Dab yells at Joseph McClellan. I know, it's Just great. yells. <laughs> it's great theater. There's a shot up the middle. What a stop! Wow, unbelievable! Oh, what we're talking about. Joe's McFly, incredible stop. How did you do that? I just looked at the ball right out of the pitcher's hands and I was just waiting. I was ready to jump at it and just, ha! Ah. And Lou Dab yelled at you, did that help? Uh, no, he didn't yell at me. He was just telling me, let's go, we gotta get this, so. So he yelled at you, perfect. <laughs> One more look at Joe's McFly, look at it. The quickness, Darren Sammy. Look at it to his left. Oh my God! That's wow! What, that's what makes you win championship. That is championship commitment, Joe yes. McFly. That man wants a banner, Shelfie, hanging out with his crutches, his Achilles wrapped. He could feel it. One more good pitch left in this over. That ball hit into the ceiling. That's going to be down for one. Only one. Only one. Wow. This is like this is like the trickling faucet right now. They need to turn it on full blast. Only 11 runs for hook line sinkers in that over. They're leading by seven. They need a big one here. Oh, Joe's McFly, the hero from the semifinal win after somehow he essentially earned the save, if you will. An amazing performance. As pinstripe topped, we got ice. Can he slam the door? Drew Davis smashes one. Nikki Cass bobbles it, but only one run. So far, so good. Outstanding. Only an eight run lead for hook line sinkers. They need fours, sixes. BBD hits it and oh, okay, one more run. This will not help them. I mean, certainly not enough, it, it does help. And we've seen some bizarre stuff happen. We have, we but, have. I mean, Drew Davis knows that he's Put some solid wood on this ball, or plastic. That ball hammered. Is that a six or a four? It's a four. Well done by Drew. Drew 
trying to keep his team in play. Only four runs from 100 in this tournament. That ball tapped, they're running, and oh, he gets it's back at the dot ball for Joe's McFly. The man who struggled so significantly as a pitcher in blitz ball history has been dominant as a bowler in the ball and play league. That ball tapped. That's going to be a four ball as it did get to the back wall, a little seeing eye shot. That takes uh, Drew to 100 runs in this tournament. Well, he'd Last like to ball. make it 106 and at least give his team a fighting chance. Last ball for Drews, who's been brilliant. That ball popped in the air. Drews running, they're running, they're running, they're running. There's a second run. They're still running, they're still running. Is that a third run? He doesn't have a bat, though. It's okay. His body is behind the, the, the line. Oh, okay. But I think there's a review here. There is. Let's see why. Oh, he's well in. So that was three runs on that play? Three runs. Two or three? The, uh, when they hit the wicket and he was safe on the last ball, that ends the, ball the play. Became dead. Concludes the play. So two runs on that play. Drew Davis and his crew will have a 19-run lead heading into the bottom of the second. 20% off anything in our store on your first order with code BIP20. Ball in play. You can get shirts from the Warehouse Series, support your favorite team, or any other shirt or hat or anything that we have. The John Boy Media Store. Check it out. Shop.johnboymedia.com. Thank you. So here we go to the bottom of the second. Hook line sinkers putting up just 48 runs total. That's the lowest output of any team this season, and it comes in the championship game. I want you to look up there right now. Yeah. There's too much forgotten rot. There's not enough pinstripe pride. Yeah, we got to get one in there. It's time. It's time. It's right now. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Shelfie out with a torn Achilles, telling Lou Dab, let's do this, let's go. They are chasing 20 runs. Only 20 runs, but I've seen what's happened in cricket. Yeah. Well, listen, we've seen some ch crazy shit here in the warehouse. Exactly. So. <laughs> just, just Karan said, you get an early wicket, you never know what happens. All right, here we go. Just Karan Malhotra will be the first bowler. DraftKings power play for Pinstripe Strong. No wicket keeper, Lou Dab. Hammers one. That's a four run to get out of the gate. Oh, that's a great way to start. The head chef, he said he, he needs he needs spin strike strong on the on the banner. He needs the banner up there. That ball hit off the wall. Oh, oh he dropped four. it. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to take a look at that again. A frustrated Drew Davis. He's been so reliable all season. Oh, look at the reach. Oh, he had it in his hands, and it goes off the wall for a four-banger. Oh. Lou still up. That ball popped in the air. That's going to be one run. Justin Dill has become the new striker. This could be over. Two maximums for the championship here. That's a dot ball. Nice job by Jaws Karan. That ball hit off the ceiling. And another dot ball. Boy, Lou Tab. <laughs> he wants My the speed God. checked. Stop bitching. <laughs> Just hit the ball, guys. Jeez. That ball hit. Oh, just past you. Oh! That's a wicked, wicked, wicked. Drew Davis, you're an athlete. Hey! Uh, can they still believe that they could do it? Pax. Drew, you missed that catch, but that was an excellent wicket. How are you feeling? Need two more of them. Not feeling good. Hey, positivity. I know. I'm optimistic. Just got to get two more of them. You're a wolf, right? Correct. Love that. Keep it up. I don't want to pump up the players. They pump themselves up. All right. 
Still 11 to get. Yeah, and here comes Joe McFly. So, you never know. You never know. One weekend here. That's what Jaskaran would be thinking. Get an early wicket. Oh, here comes Lou Dab to his buddy. Let's see what's being said. If you hit it on the ground, are you running? No. If I hit it on the ground, I'm going to run. You, you got to make sure you get there. Okay. You want to get okay. It, it depending on where I hit it on the ground, but if it goes if it goes up no. in the if it goes up in the air, I'm out. Wait, right, but you have to let me know if you hit it on the ground because I'm off. I'm going off of you. What do you think? Well, it, Lou knows one weekend here early is trouble, so he's making sure the calling is right. If there's no no single, we're not gonna take it. No risk involved. That's okay. what he's saying. So here we go, because he was the golden bowler, no wides delivered in that first one, he is staying on. So here we go. Josh Caron against Joe's McFly. The J versus J crew. That ball popped Gosh. in the sky. Oh, they ran! Oh, There's another oh, wicket! A second wicket! My goodness! Drew Davis. That's just what they were talking about, by the way. My goodness! Pressure is on. The pressure is on. Just play for homers. That's it. We need three, three fours. That's it. Don't even run. You could hear Shelfie say they need us to beat us. Yeah, that's well said. Couldn't have said it better. So Justin Dill is back as the striker. This is unreal. So there are two wickets. Yeah, pressure is on them. I'm telling you we have nothing to lose, right? I told you runs on the board is runs on the board. They still need 11 and last wicket. They are under immense pressure. One mistake and we got this. One mistake, yeah? One good catch and we are in it. Yeah. On any player like back here, get behind that or like be like this. Because if you yeah. have to, we'll have to throw hard. Because they might be more safe here. So we might have to go I to that one. stay here and he's there. So we good. I'm telling you we got this. Trust me, guys. I love the this captain. energy. Man, oh man. And he's so right. We've talked to all of the professional cricket players. They say the same thing. Even if it's very much within reach, it can be a daunting task emotionally, right? Yes, because now pressure is on the batting team. They only got one wicket left in the shed. Any mistake here, the game is over. Ooh. 11 runs to the championship. For pin strike. Catch! No. Oh! It is over! It is over! It is over! I don't even know how to do this! Oh! Jolly Olive has done it! My goodness! He has what done a comeback! They snatch it from the jaws of defeat! It was all over, done and dusted. You heard Jessica and saying, it's never over. My goodness. You spell Jolly Olive with a W, as in wicked, as in winner. An amazing diving grab to finish off the ball in play league presented to you by DraftKings. What a remarkable journey for Hookline Sinker. Unreal. We need to see this again. My goodness, what a catch. They were down and out, Rose. Look at Jolly Olive springing into action. Number zero on his back, number he, one as a champion. He got tears in his eyes. Uh, that just might be dust from the warehouse floor. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Unreal stuff. Man, Rose, as a man who've won two championships, two World Cup, I know what he's feeling right now. The emotion, the joy. When you win like this, when you've all done and out, nobody gave you a chance to come back from the jaws of defeat to snatch that victory. You see what it means to him. Unreal stuff here that has developed inside the warehouse. BBD now a two-time ball and play champion. Obviously, this means so much more. We stepped it up talent-wise, what it means. 
bringing in professional cricket players, and now to have this happen, they put up 48 runs, the lowest total of anyone. And we're thinking with pinstripe strong on the other side there and Sammy, how in the world were they gonna get it done? Not only do they win, they win by double digits. What I've been telling you, batters win you games, bowlers win you tournaments. And their bowling stepped up when it mattered most. And poor, you gotta you gotta give feel for you gotta feel for pinstripe strong. They had it. Oh, look at Joe's. Look at Joe's. Joe's thought, for goodness sakes, my name's gonna be on a banner up there after all of the social media abuse I have taken for my pitching and blitzball. He could taste it, and now he walks away a loser in the championship. Congratulations once again to Hook Line Sinkers, the quartet of Jaskaran Malhotra, Drew Davis, BBD, and the hero of the day, Jolly Olive. A tip of the cap to you, my men, as your banner will be hoisted here in the warehouse.